Hi everyone, welcome again. I'm Eldridge Henry, this is Zena Henry, and this is God's Union Marriage Ministry YouTube channel, Gummy TC, the place where you and us come together to talk about bettering our marriages and relationships. Now, today my wife put together a tremendously great, awesome, deep, enlightening program. Creating your own traditions. It's the holiday season, so we were thinking about some of the conflicts we faced on the holidays, and I'm pretty sure many of you have faced. As you know, during the holidays, you want to be with family, right? But what about your immediate family? Mm. Is the hustle and bustle of the holidays, Thanksgiving just passed, Christmas is upon us. Yes. Is the things that you want to do taken away from time for just you, your spouse, and the kids that you have, or just you and your spouse, by running to go be with every member of your family? For my family, it's been really tough because my parents remarried. So I had extra family. Extra family. <laughs> so dad's side of family, mom's side of family, mama number two side of the family, <laughs> then my wife's side of family. So there were a lot of things that were expected of us that often cause conflict. Big family person, family so-so, you know, she like them, but she ain't got to see them. Y'all all right, y'all good, I right, then bye. <laughs> so sometimes it will cause a conflict. Mm -hmm. Me being in retail, I've only been off work the day of the holiday. Yes. The next day, I'm back at it strong. So I don't have a lot of time, and my wife is always caring for me and saying, hey, you can't be gone all day and night. You want to get rest. And then there are the days that we, on those holidays when we go to church that morning. So the day is starting just as early as it would if I was going to work. Yes. So has there been any downtime? No. So today we're going to talk about creating your own traditions. Do your household like Burger King. Have it your way. So, Zena, what do you have? <laughs> Great. Thanks. Yes. So if you are newly wed, you want to talk about this early in your marriage, maybe even before you get married, and talk about okay. what are the traditions going to look like in your home after marriage, or again, if you're already married and you're new, then what are those traditions going to look like for us? Interesting. Yes. So it's not always that you have to go with traditions that you've done when you were a kid or growing up, or that you have to continue to see your parents or your grandparents or aunts and uncles or however you used to do holidays. You may want to sit down with your spouse and talk about yeah. what is the holiday going to the holidays going to look like right. for us. Are we going to stay at home? Are we going to take a trip somewhere? Are we going to um, plan time for us to just cook and have a dinner with us? Maybe we're going to have friends over, oh. other married couples, or maybe we're going to have just maybe some neighborhood uh, friends or people people nearby. You have to discuss and figure out what is convenient and pleasing to you and your spouse. I like that. What's pleasing to you and your spouse? Mm -hmm. One of the big conflicts when that statement comes to mind is that your family will often become selfish and tell you how you're hurting their feelings because you didn't come, you didn't start by, why didn't we see you? Oh, I'm so mad at you. She got you acting funny. I can't be your husband had you not come over here. Just stayed home. You would go see his family last year. So sometimes it would be a case where you don't have to, but there will be a need for you to sit down with your family prior to the holiday and say, hey, I'm going to come by and see you guys this day, that day for the holidays. But this particular day of the holiday, I will be with my family. And nothing's wrong with that because the Bible teaches us, leave, cleave, become one. Exactly. And that's a part of stepping out the nest. So be understanding that it's not hurting their feelings or you being selfish. Mm -hmm. it's, that you, it's that you're just starting your very own traditions in your family. And if your family doesn't live in the same state, then you probably don't have this issue as mm -hmm. much as it would be with someone who has family and relatives that stay nearby. For me and Elle, most of our um, immediate family stays in Memphis, yeah. so they're here. My family was, my parents were actually born and raised in Memphis, um, as well as Elle's family. He has family that has, have been here, and so his parents and 
um, aunts and uncles are here. And so it's really difficult when our whole, both sides of our families are here and we come mm -hmm. from large families. So it's hard for us to plan time to see each other right. on those holidays and then also to get to our relatives house and visit yeah. with them as well. So you may have to plan visits on other days other than the holidays. And so again, it's, it's about creating your own traditions and what's pleasing to you and your spouse. Secondly, if you've already been married for a long time or for a while, then you may want to start reevaluating what those traditions look like and if they are pleasing to both you and your spouse. A lot of times we've been doing something by rote and we just continue to do it for so long because we've been doing it. And it may not necessarily... She said by rote. Yeah. That's a big word to me. <laughs> so it may not necessarily be pleasing to one of you and so but you've been doing it for so long so you just keep doing it mm -hmm. and so you may want to sit down and reevaluate what those traditions are going to look like in years to come and if they were pleasing in the past then we'll mm -hmm. keep doing them and if they weren't then what needs to change there's nothing wrong with change change is good you know again it's about what you and your spouse want. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, and that's including family and friends. You want to yep. make sure that it is pleasing to you and your spouse. The that's only good. person that you have to be accountable to and make sure that you're pleasing is your spouse. They're number one in your life after God. Yeah. And then everything else falls into place. That means your children, your job, then family and friends. Makes sense, baby. It makes me think about one of the lessons we taught in one of our uh, marriage classes about mm. He's right, she's right, third option. Exactly. Or she's right, he's wrong, third option. Yes. We have to get to a point where we have to sit down, discuss it in a sensible manner, and come to the best resolution for both parties. Yes. Sometimes it might be that we do Thanksgiving this way, mm -hmm. Christmas this way, Fourth of July this way, you yes. know, New Year's this way. But sit down and talk about it. Do not let the holiday, which is a holy day celebration, be ruined mm -hmm. by these types of conflicts. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. And don't feel pressure to do what you used to do when you were growing up. Don't feel pressure to have that um, Christmas holiday. I gotta go to Big Mama house. Yeah. And yeah. Or you open Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, or you sit around and you drink eggnog and tell stories. Make your own memories with your family, your new family. Make your own memories. Yeah. Do things, you know, that maybe you have never done before and you just want to try. Look on Pinterest or look on the internet and Google some um, new traditions for you and your family. And then make your own memories. Things that you're going to be able to look back and tell your children and they're going yeah. to be able to see these memories in photo albums yeah. or online because now everything is online. <laughs> Digital. They'll be able to see your digital photos and they'll look back and think, we had the best uh, holidays, you know, around this time. And, yeah. and and again, it's not just about Thanksgiving and Christmas because we have New Year's coming up and then all of our other holidays. Yeah. You want to make your own traditions. In fact, you might even want to make your own holiday. You might want to pick a day that is special for just you and your family and that you celebrate it in whatever special way that you can to commemorate that day. Here is Family Day. Yes. Coming soon. 2016. <laughs> yeah. But the one tradition that you cannot ever get rid of is that Jesus is the reason for, for the season. season. So don't right? forget that. <laughs> you know, again, it is about making your own traditions. But mm -hmm. of course, we want to make sure that we're keeping Christ first. And that's in everything that we do. Not just in the Christmas season, but keeping Christ first in our lives and in our marriages so that we can have a better uh, marriage and a better life. Jesus is on the main line, tell him what you want. Hey, Jesus, how you doing? I love you, and I thank you for everything. But listen, uh, I was in need of some new traditions for my holiday season, so me and my wife won't butt, butt, butt heads, you know? You're such a good guy. Can I talk to him now? You're awesome. Can I, can I talk to him? Not right now, baby. I want to talk to Jesus. Can I, can I talk to uh, Jesus? Call him on your hey, phone. Hey, Jesus, can I, she, my hey, wife Jesus, call Jesus, you. Can I talk gonna, to you? Yes, sir. I, <sighs> hey, Jesus. Yes. I don't even know what I want. I'm just so excited to hear your voice. <laughs> We're videotaping. Oh, but you probably already knew that. He did. He was oh. there. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this is a wrap. Bam. <laughs> Make sure you got Jesus in your life. I got him on speed dial. What about you? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all. -bye. Have a blessed holiday season. We love y'all. Remember, share with the world. Yes. Gummy -T -C. TC. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's getting, it's getting better, girl. It's getting better. I don't forget my sugar, though. I'm not going to let y'all see me with the red lipstick on. It didn't come off.
<laughs> oh, that's an expensive stuff. Yeah. 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 Don't buy your wife cheap lipstick, that's player. That, that's that Mac. <laughs> no, wait, wait, hey, they ain't paying no money. Don't tell, don't say no names. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they. They, 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 not, they not giving us a, a no endorsements, no. <laughs> but they might. That, that's Mac, <laughs> Ruby Woo. Way to think, girl. I like that. <laughs> Blowing up. <laughs> Let it work, God. You can do it. We, Jesus. We love you guys. See you next time. Yes. Hey, Bye. by the way, y'all missed us last week, didn't you? <laughs> Celebrating the booze birthday and hanging out with some friends. Please forgive us. <laughs> Take care, guys. All right. Love you. Hey, go see the blog, too. Alrighty, you sound angry, man. Oh, my God. Go, go check out our blog, please. <laughs> Godsunion.blogspot.com It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry about that earlier. That was an outburst. I'm not, a, I'm not an angry person. You're not an angry man. Not an angry man. <laughs> you ready to go, baby? I am. That's right. <laughs> Breathing exercise. Breathing. Breathing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sleepy time. Yeah, I see. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You ready? You ready? <laughs> what, baby? Go. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Be unsteal. Oh, did I tell you to be still that time? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome again to God's Union. No, you, know. you have got the. Will you? I thought this kind of cool to be unsteal. Be unsteal. No peace be still. Why is that light not on? Oh, you did lose light. Is that the light that went out? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what did, I was like, we lost the light. Like, is it on over there? Yep. Bulb out. Okay. I ain't changed the bulb in there. No, I changed it the other day, baby. You ain't changed that bulb. Yes, bulb I bulb. have. I, I, the other day. Uh, I changed it like Two, this summer. Ago. No. Huh. Why? Because I had to buy bulbs for it. And I went and bought bulbs and changed it. Yes, huh. it has been changed. Alright, probably because we use it a lot more than we ever have. That's why. Bulls ain't about nothing. And it's not one of those five year bulbs. Okay, let's go. Why you got a Home Depot packing box? I think your child went and got that to ship shoes. Hmm. I don't know Okay. I'm like, stay focused. <laughs> Ready? I am. Breathing exercise. I've been ready. We're going to lose time. All right. You're talking. <laughs> We're gonna lose daylight. We're <laughs> gonna lose daylight. You gotta get this this scene. You gotta get this scene in for we lose daylight. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Welcome again to God's Union YouTube. <laughs> Did you just forget what we are doing? I forgot the marriage. <laughs>